It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Thursday, October 12, 2023. Number one, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana was nominated by Republicans after he won a closed door election Wednesday afternoon. Among House Republicans, Scalise won narrowly over Ohio Representative Jim Jordan. 113 to 99 votes. Addressing reporters after the initial vote, Representative Scalise spoke as a leader ready to take care of business on the House floor, including resolutions regarding the war declared by Israel. Number two, amid the brutal conflict between Israel and Palestine, three members of the squad, Representatives Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, are making their voices heard, denouncing hate, and standing up for Palestinian rights. Representative Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian American in Congress, has been a vocal critic of Israel's continued occupation of Palestinian territories. Omar issued a statement condemning the actions of Hamas while calling for de-escalation and a ceasefire, emphasizing her commitment to advocating for peace and justice throughout the Middle East. Number three, though breast cancer survivors are among the women who could most benefit from regular physical activity, many don't meet national exercise recommendations. Studies show a strong association between physical activity and reduced mortality, extended survival, and higher quality of life among breast cancer survivors. The American Cancer Society recommends that cancer survivors exercise for at least 150 minutes per week, along with strength training exercises at least two days per week. Number four, Hughes Uncle Red Van Ellis, one of the last known living survivors of the Tulsa Race Massacre, died at the age of 102 this week in Denver, Colorado. Mr. Ellis was an infant in 1921 when Greenwood, a district once known as Black Wall Street, was destroyed. Ellis, his sister Viola, age 109, and Leslie Benningfield Randall, 108, called for reparations, but the survivor's lawsuit was dismissed this summer and is currently under review by the Oklahoma Supreme Court. Number five. Finding a therapist who meets your specific needs, accepts your insurance, and has immediate availability can be daunting. This difficulty is not unique, but is experienced by many individuals, including those in the black community who are seeking mental health support. A recent investigation by the Seattle Times highlighted the challenges in accessing mental health care through insurance providers. Check out the What You Need to Know newsletter for all the details. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Fellowship is a precious gift, freely given with rich rewards. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our executive producer, Yolanda Starks-White. That's right, my partner in crime. And we'll discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. Barbara Scotia College and HBCU in Concord, North Carolina needs our help. The What You Need to Know team is asking supporters, alumni, and friends of Barbara Scotia to help them meet their immediate and pressing needs by donating to help Barbara Scotia rise. Please join the donors from around the world who are stepping up to save one of the nation's oldest HBCUs. Visit SybilWilkes.com for more information. And check out a celebration of black filmmakers rooted in the HBCU culture, November 10th through the 12th at Howard University's Blackburn Center. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.